I tried plenty of fish. I tried Tinder, I tried Bumble, I tried Hinge. We always know when we can have, we can sleep with someone, we can have sex with a guy. We always know. I, that area, my, my the JJ don't, don't like that kind of energy. So, like. Hello guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Sonia and I am a Nigerian single parent, YouTuber, content creator pretty much based in Toronto, Canada. Now today, I just want to gist with y'all. I want to talk about my experience dating in Canada with like using dating apps and stuff. There's a lot of stuff I want to talk about, okay? I want to talk about dating, marriage, and love, and parenting. But I'm going to do it in parts, so today I'm just going to start with dating and the, my experience using apps. I've recorded this video a bunch of times, but I keep deleting it for some. I just, I'm not satisfied. It's always too long. Like I always ramble on like I am now, but yeah. Also, I'm eating some Ben and Jerry's ice cream. And no, I don't eat it from the tub. One, because I don't live alone. Two, because I'm not an animal. No. Ooh. Dead enough. Ooh. Brain freeze. Dating apps. I have my phone because I took notes so that I can be straight to the point. I tried plenty of fish. I tried Tinder. I tried Bumble. I tried Hinge. I met loads of people. Like I've chatted with a bunch of people on these different apps. I met up with a few of them. Some of them I didn't meet up with, but you know we got we took it to WhatsApp. And a lot of them just fizzled out. A few of them I'm still in touch with. So I met some guy on Plenty of That Plenty of Fish, first of all, the user interface is crap. I hate it. I just couldn't stand it. I couldn't be on that anymore. But I did start chatting with some guy that talked, was asking, saying we should be cuddling or something. I was like, oh, if I was cuddling with you right now, I would be farting or something like that. I'll show you the chat. I saved the chat. Like the guy was persistent. I realized that I didn't really swipe right on Nigerian guys. Moving on. On Bumble, on Tinder, I met two people. Or well, maybe just one person. The first person I met was Jay. The other person saw me on Tinder, but I did not swipe right. So he looked for me on Facebook and found me and chatted with me on Facebook. So Jay that I met with was like the best person that I met. I don't know if he's the best person that I've met on dating on any of these dating apps. I think he's the best person I've met on these dating apps. And I'm sure you're wondering, since he is so great, why are we not together? Because he lives in the States and is very busy. He's a very busy life. And it's not just gonna work because of the distance, right? But we still have a good relationship, like we still talk, we, we, we're still in touch, we're, we're still cool. And if ever COVID lets up, maybe we may re rekindle or see ourselves again. But for now, we're just friends. The, the guy from that looks for me on Facebook, he is actually Nigerian. He's actually Nigerian. So he looked for me, chatted up with me on Facebook Messenger, invited me out to spend a day with him on his birthday we we got along like we connected it was a good day or whatever right but then he he came on too strong like he was a bit he seemed a bit too pressed for sex so soon and i was not just ready like i knew like you know girls when we meet a guy we always know when we're ready to have sex with guys like what we always know when we can have we can sleep with someone we can have sex with a guy we always know like but then we just wait to see if they're gonna do something to mess the chances up or if they're gonna do something to increase it, right? Sometimes we don't wait. It depends on the mood, what's going on with our bodies, with the hormones, you know what I'm saying? To be honest, right now in my life, I feel like I only think or want to be with someone when I... That's when I think of men. Other than that, I look I think as them look at them as just friends like people to meet and just enjoy their company but I don't really like yearn for one except during those times <laughs> so yeah I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing but that's what it is it is 
what it is. He seemed a bit pressed and when I confronted him about it, because you know I like to confront, so I like to express myself. Y'all know I love expressing myself and I don't hide what I'm thinking. I can, I'm very honest and very straightforward. So I just told him, yo, it seems like you're pressed, right? And I'm not in that frame of mind now. I don't want you to waste your time. So if you know you're like, you really need someone you can sleep with right away, then maybe you can move on. You know, I don't want to waste your time. And he got offend offended and started being defensive that I was making him sound like some randy person. I was like, not about that. I'm, a, I'm an attractive looking woman. I'm a hot girl. I'm a hot mom. I'm a MILF. And so I get that you want to sleep with me like it's only natural I'm just letting you know that right now I'm not ready to and you can't keep like pushing for it because that's not gonna happen like right away It's only gonna happen when I'm ready someone said I like to be in control When it comes to stuff like that and I feel like yes, I should be in control Like I shouldn't be sleeping with someone when I don't feel like sleeping with the person I shouldn't be sleeping with them for their sake you know especially not now when I'm not married or whatever and I have to start making compromises of being considerate of the person or whatever but even then it's not gonna happen a lot you know you're gonna have to find a way to put me in the mood to want to sleep with you but I'm not, I'm not gonna do it when I don't want to right and I met some more J's on I met two J's on hinge they were cool one of the J's african-american he's cool he's really nice he had kids right so he's someone i trusted around my my kids so he did meet my son i think just once helped me pick him up from someone and brought him back to me and you know people are like ah how come you trusted him? i was like i just feel like he has kids we're we're cool we had a good like a rapport or whatever and i just felt comfortable like i just go with my spirit with my instincts right and my instincts told me like my, my kid is safe with him so he's very sweet but I think he had lots of issues I, and as much as I want to be there for him as a friend and I try to be my that area my, my the JJ don't, don't like that kind of energy it doesn't like depressed energy <laughs> so I didn't want that around there so I was like you know that's not <laughs> So now we talk every now and then friends and the other jay i met you guys saw him on the date night video i posted him and i are currently not talking i've blocked him from everywhere after this whole date night video i posted because he agreed for me to post it and then all of a sudden he became self-conscious when he saw it and asked me to take it down and i told him he was being selfish asked me to take it down because i did everything we agreed on you know blurred him out no one can identify him we don't have any mutual friends so what is your problem i can understand you being self-conscious because you know people get like that when they see themselves on camera when they hear their recorded voice they get a bit self-conscious i used to be like that but i got over it because i got used to it and now i'm made for the camera the camera loves me as you can see so i just told him peace out blocked him he reported the video to youtube so youtube is supposed to review it and i guess decide if they need to take it down but i'm not going to take it down youtube is going to make that decision so it's up there for now if you haven't watched it go watch it it's quite interesting it was mostly me talking you know i didn't really put much of him inside because you know i didn't want to put him, too much of him in out there i'm the one like it's my channel right but he knew and you know i have evidence of him agreeing to me using it for my youtube channel so i do not know why he all of it all of a sudden changed his mind but i just thought it was selfish and i blocked him and then i met another guy m on hinge he's nice he's fit he's cool he seems very self-aware self-assured we agree on a lot of things we still talk here and there like he's on my whatsapp but it, we just didn't, I don't know, we just couldn't connect to like date or whatever. We just went on one date and he was always very accommodating. He was like, yeah, he can come meet me anywhere. He understands that I have a kid. You know, he came to my office to take me to lunch the first time and only time we met and picked me up from my office and went to lunch nearby because he, he was ready, like he, he's mature in that way, I guess. He, I have ice cream is building. He was ready to like, um, meet me halfway you know if not more than halfway right it was really cool then um i met another guy a serbian he came to pick me up from my office as well went for coffee um close by um he's a bit rough around the edges he's cool but i was just i don't i, I want someone i can like flow and communicate with easily and you know he still has a bit of the serb thing in him so 
I just I don't want to struggle <laughs> so we didn't and then I think he smoked a lot it was a lot in my face and so I was like nah He's always trying to meet up with me now, but I'm like, you know, COVID-19, guys, COVID-19, I can't do that. Um, I think I went on to Bumble, and then I met another Jay. He was really cool. He was really sweet. He also met my son. We went on a picnic. I don't know. I don't I don't think I posted that, but, and he's a photographer. He takes really awesome pictures, and he took some really awesome pictures of me. Oh, he is in one of the videos I posted. I'll link that in the cards. I just met him during COVID, right? He, we just we've just kind of like fizzled out mostly because he put me off some way like he did something really creepy and I'm just like I'm so easy to please I'm so easy to get along with and I can a little thoughtful gesture can make me like you but you a, a little thing can also make me just like be put off and I, and I don't want anything to do with you anymore it actually happened with the other Jay that I went on the date with apart from the whole thing of him me blocking him before that I had got because we, we met a long time ago and I got put off so I like stopped talking to him as much and I didn't want to see him again but I just recently decided to see him again and that's when I did this video right and then now that's dead done and I also met like another guy from Iran recently during COVID he's cool too but I just got the, this fetish vibes from him like I feel like I'll be a fetish and he was like really coming on strong as well like he was like really on me he looked like he was gonna eat me the first chance he got he pretty much even said that like, because he was like oh my gosh i can't stop looking at your lips i want to kiss your lips he actually even tried to kiss me but i was like nah bro i know i'm already close to you and if you have covid i've probably gotten it too but i just feel like kissing you is gonna go the extra mile which i don't want to do and besides you guys know from the dating video I posted that I'm very picky with kissing like I don't just like kissing any and anyone like I nah I can't just see you and just kiss you because I feel like some attraction no mm -mm. there's a lot of studying and observing I need to do before I can get comfortable to kiss you like that right so that didn't work and then I kind of met someone through a mutual friend not on a dating app and I started hanging I met him just after I met this last guy K and from Iran and then so I, when I met him I started hanging out with him and his friends and they're just very easy and comfortable to be with and be around he's, he's just a very easy person to be around you know because he has the balance the right balance of Nigerian and Canadian like exposure as you all know I have a different way of thinking and I generally feel I don't think or or behave or reason <laughs> like your average Nigerian girl so even your average girl at all so <laughs> I believe that I don't know I may be wrong you can tell me if I'm wrong but I that's what I believe oh, well you may not agree not like you can tell me if I'm wrong because what I believe about myself is what is right so after when I met him because I'm not good with like seeing two people at the same time it's not like me and this guy are seeing each other per se but like we're hanging out right so I I, I don't have a lot of time I have a lot of doing I'm sewing, I'm working, I'm parenting, I'm YouTubing. I have a lot of doing, so I don't have a lot of time to be hanging out with so many different people. And that guy is, wanted me to keep like hanging out with him. And he would have been nice because he's a very sporty, athletic person, like beach volleyball, like swimming and all that. And I like those kind of things, like doing camping. But I was just like, yeah, this one's gonna, this is an easier person to hang out with than he is, especially with the fact that he probably te treat me like a fetish and wanna jump me the first chance he gets. So I cut that off, right? And there was one bad meet or person. He was Irish. He wanted me to come down to, you come downtown to meet him. And I was like, we should meet halfway, right? Cause I was living in Vaughan then. And then he was like, I was like, and so what? And he's like, yeah, I should come downtown. I was like, so you want me to come downtown? You want me to pay for parking? You want me to um, pay for a babysitter? You're, like, you're not even trying to meet me halfway. I was like, you know what? Forget about it. So we forgot about that. And there was a Jamaican guy I met on, I think, Bumble, who started talking to me then, um, but he lived, I think, in Hamilton. Then later, 
he told me he met someone and it's getting kind of serious so we stopped talking and then he came back later and asked me for a job referral that he saw that their job opening was where I work and he wants me to give him a referral so I did and that was the end of that and there was another guy I met recently during COVID times who has a daughter who's the same age as my son and we video called I mean we spoke on the phone like he called me on his birthday and was very happy and he called me like we've been talking forever but we hadn't it was kind of weird but also refreshing right and then another time he video called me and he had his daughter with him and so my son spoke kind of said hi to his daughter and so that was cute but then I've not spoken to him pretty much I stopped talking to anyone in interest of like hanging out with them since I met this other guy um, the Nigerian one that was born in Canada um, so I pretty much just stopped trying to hang with anyone else new especially I did hang out with a friend recently but that's just like on a friendship yeah. thing. oh before I forget there was this guy that I started talking to before I met the last couple of guys on, on Bumble his name is um, Dave I think and he was he used to send me voice notes of him singing like singing to me like he was sing he was sending me voice notes every day of him singing to me and it was really cute and nice and but then he just disappeared he just ghosted next thing we weren't a match anymore he just disappeared she's got a love for me that never dies close enough close enough Hi, this is my regular voice. I've got sunshine on a cloudy day. When it's cold outside, I've got the month of May. And there was another guy that saw me because of my dating profile I put out looking for someone to give me a baby girl. So when he, he came and asked me, he's like, so what it, what happens if I have a baby boy? And I said, um, I'll probably get rid of it. <laughs> I just said that, right? And then he's like, oh, I see where the straight talker comes from because I also put that in my profile. And pretty much after that, he also ghosted. I guess he wasn't down for me to possibly abort his son if we do get together and have a child <laughs> so, and about that i'm not really sure i'm gonna do that so yeah anyway so that's the end of my experiences i did want to add quickly that my aim of dating or meeting people is just to enjoy people right i mean it's less stressful to keep having to meet people you would want just someone you can just date for a while or just be with for a while and just know this is your person but I'm not pressed, you know, so if it doesn't work out that way, I don't feel like I've lost out on anything. I don't feel like I've wasted my time because I always just enjoy people for who they are and live in the moment with them. So if it doesn't work out, it's fine. I don't feel like my time was wasted, you know, because whatever time we had together, I enjoyed it. You know, if it's something I know I'm not going to enjoy, I'm not going to really give it any, put any effort or do anything with it. So if I am putting any effort, if I am... Um, consciously and purposely hanging out with you is because I sort of enjoy you right so it's not a loss if it doesn't end in a relationship if it obviously doesn't end in marriage because marriage is also something I am not very pressed about I mean it would be nice and interesting to experience but that's another topic we'll talk about marriage later people are useful in different ways you can end up being my friend you could just end up being my friend <laughs> like I've liked people but when it ends it ends right like I like you till I don't that's just the way I see it or you like me till you don't I'm just chill I'm just ready to meet people you know ready to mingle just enjoy them and be out or stay it depends it don't matter whatever happens happens you know we go with the flow we go with it you know as long as we're both respectful to each other, decent people to each other, that is all I require from any kind of relationship I have. Even if it's just dating, I need you to be respectful because I'm going to respect you. Or even if it, you know, we're just, you know, being friendly, getting to know each other. <laughs> 
I respect I expect respect because I respect you I expect you to treat me properly I, and I'll treat you properly right I expect, there's this basic um, rules of engagement even if it's not a serious relationship and so if I find someone that doesn't understand that then mean that that person can't hang right but I just find that not always expecting a committed relationship takes off a lot of pressure from the both of us and we and it helps me be myself completely I guess maybe it's also because I have a kid so I'm not worried about having getting married and having children I just have this very chill attitude about dating and meeting people in the next video I will talk about love and actual relationships not just dating around but yeah thanks for stopping by thanks for watching and thanks for listening to my just my chit chat what is your um point of view when it comes to dating like going on dates meeting people are you doing it are you hoping for a serious relationship do you feel like it's a loss when you meet someone maybe like the person and then it doesn't work out do you feel like it's a loss like talk to me guys talk to me what what is your thought what are your thoughts in this like right so yeah, thanks guys for watching. I know the video is a bit long, but this was the fastest I could do it. To be honest, this is fastest. Bye. <clears throat>